What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> no Panther Nichols questions, only Olympiacos. <laughs> What's up? Uh, I had a great opportunity to come to Greece in my first season, uh, play for Olympiacos. It was a great experience, and, and no disrespect to Panther Nichols. They had a great team, and I think that year they did win it. Uh, but, you know, it's always good to have a good rivalry. I think it helps the game of basketball. Even uh, you are excited, uh, you are satisfied, and uh, you look, you say that you, are, you had a great season, even though it didn't work out so well, huh? Yeah, it, you know, for us, uh, as, as Americans, your first experience going over, you know, you just want to have the least things go wrong, and it was fun to experience, uh, you know, another part of the world and have a great opportunity to still play the game of basketball that I love. And, you know, to see a part of, uh, I think, the, the game that most people will never get an opportunity to see, so... I'm just very appreciative that it was a great organization and a great league to play in. It was like uh, 20 years back, huh? <laughs> it was a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was fun, though. It was fun. Uh, uh, even, though, even though now Olympiacos and Panathinaikos are still contenders, you know, that Olympiacos has won two straight times the uh, EuroLeague. Panathinaikos has won it some years ago. They are like uh, the top rivalry with uh, Barcelona against Real Madrid in Europe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... When you talk about the great teams in Europe, or really in any basketball uh, league, the teams that can sustain uh, a level of excellence, and Panathinaikos has always been a team that has sustained itself as always one of the top contenders, if not you know, the champions, uh, year after year. Uh, it's something to be said about the way that the, 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 the players, the organization is ran, the ownership, uh, management, they've all done a great job of just continuing to keep that team uh, as one of the best in, in Europe. Was Ioannidis one of your toughest coaches? Ioannidis was that was for sure one of the toughest coaches I've ever had, but he was one of the best coaches that any player who wants to get better, who wants to push himself uh, to see how much improvement he can uh, get from just a work ethic. He's one of the best coaches you could ever have as a young player. What do you like uh, except basketball from Greece? Some uh, food, some oh, the weather maybe? Lo love the food, love the weather. Uh, the hardest thing for me was, you know, we didn't have a lot of time uh, in between. So I, if I could go back again, I would love to go back and visit Greece and really like get a chance to, to see some of the sights without feeling like I had to rush all the time. <laughs> you have two Greek-American guys in your team. You have a Greek connection. You, what's your opinion about uh, these two guys? Well, Nick Kalathis uh, is certainly a guy for me that, uh, you know, you talk about not giving up on a dream. He's a guy that uh, didn't get an opportunity uh, the first go-around and coming to the league and, and get a, a chance to play. Uh, he had some success and went over to Europe and, and certainly, you know, thrived in, in his short career over there. Uh, and now he's back in the NBA. And there's something to be said about a guy who uses the opportunity he had. Uh, and now Costa Kufos, you know, Costa's a guy just, to me, is the epitome of what uh, great role players are. They, they, they are very uh, uh, happy, understanding that they accept the role that they need to play and every single day they come and, and fulfill that, the responsibilities that they have for that role. And he's just a guy that is probably the ultimate professional. I really appreciate coaching him. Okay. Thanks a lot, though.